Okay, so today on Simply Off Grid, it's time to build a gate for the garden. Okay, this is pretty crazy actually. So this morning, I was uh, looking to order some hinges um, online to go pick up to make this gate. And I thought, I'll go and see what wood we have available. And um, so I went ferreting around in the back of the garden there, in the backyard, and I found this. It's a big gate. There's hinges on it already. It's way too big. So, but it still used to be a gate. So what I'm gonna do is chop this down. Half the gate's already made. So we're gonna use this to build a new one. Okay, so not only is it amazing that a gate exists, but it's actually five foot tall too. Exactly. So it's the right height. I don't have to do anything other than just make it um, the right width. So width wise, we're looking at um, 31. So let's get this measured up. Get rid of this bit. So we just need to dismantle this end piece. And then we need to attach this to the new piece. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the ends a little bit just to make it a bit flusher. So now I'm gonna set the depth of the saw to halfway. Let's make sure I get this right here. So one and a half, three quarters. Set this to three quarters of an inch. Okay, so now I've got those lines cut in here an inch and a half deep. I'm just going to saw through manually here. Okay, it's not very tidy. So not bad. Just making this little notch here so that I can join these two pieces together so they kind of support each other a little bit. Perfect. Once we've done both sides, we'll get it joined. There you go. It's certainly not going for perfection, but that will at least add a bit more strength. Instead of thicking it up and putting two next to each other, and you know, using more wood than we need to, we can just narrow this down a little bit and use these joins. Throw some glue on the inside here and here, and screw it together. Let me get the other ones done. To be brutally honest with you, I'm really not feeling it today. And it might show in the video that I'm just tired, but you know, overwhelmed with what's going on in the world right now. But trying to maintain a schedule of some sort so that we can get these videos out to you every Wednesday. So I'm pushing through and doing my best and uh, want to get this gate up and also this video up to you guys. So uh, I apologize about feeling a little bit slow, but also trying to rush this project just to get it ready for you guys. So, you know, it's real, real challenges of life. Anyway, let's carry on. Hmm. These screws would be a bit too long to go in here. And as you can see, I have not glued this. I just cannot be bothered getting the whole glue out and all that jazz. So what I'm going to do, just so this screw doesn't poke all the way out, I'm going to screw it in at a bit of an angle here. And being at the angle, it'll also pull this up into it. So it should square it off quite nicely. This way I'm not using any extra bits. So I'm going to pull this one down at an angle. Okay gonna be fairly snug there and then the last one let's go from the other side okay. that is super solid I didn't even need to glue it so let's do the other end this is all reclaimed stuff 
let's uh, let's pull this up. Nice and solid. Now we need to do the supporting crossbar. All right, so from that same shitty old gate, this was part of it. So I'm gonna lay that down on the ground. This is the bottom of the gate. That's the top of the gate. I have read somewhere that you start the cross member in the bottom hinge side so that it supports the upper away side. So we'll just gauge this in here a little bit. Try and go central, I guess. We'll draw a little line here and here, and then we'll cut that down. Let's see if that fits. Cool. All right. I'll just try and come in at an angle like this. Hmm. That's almost too long. Ugh, didn't go through enough. Oh man, this is a nightmare. Okay, so I think you're supposed to use like a pocket drill bit thingy. Um, but I don't have one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill uh, halfway into the wood with a drill bit that's the same uh, diameter as the head of this screw so that I can get the screw in without too much resistance. Um, that'll also allow me to get the um, the head of the impact through a little bit too. And then by drilling only so far in, that'll allow the screw to go in nice and easy and then bed up against something. So let's try that. Look at that. We've got a gate, but we need to, uh, I'm gonna strengthen it up a little bit. <laughs> but we have a gate. Um, and I want to put the metal fencing on it too. All right, so let's uh, let's lay this, roll this fencing out over it. Cool. It just just reaches across. Remember these from the other video? These little fencing pins. Bang a few of these in. All right, let's get the snips. All right, it's good to me. Now we've got to attach it. But before I do that, I want to actually screw down these posts because these little things on the base, they came with some screws to like really clamp them down. So I'm going to put those in first. All right, I've got those in. It took me forever to find the screws. Then it took me forever to find the um, tools. In fact, I've lost them, so I had to use the wrong tools. <laughs> it's just one of those days. Um, all right, so let's get some small screws and screw this gate on. That took long enough. Okay, so I've laid a piece of wood down in the doorway there to prop the gate on. Uh -huh. Get it all lined up. I think the key is to get it straight. So I'll get a little thingy. Fly the level on top. Oops. I mean, that's pretty damn level. See if we can get this in here. All right, that looks level. Piece of wood out now, what do we got? So we need a latch on there. I think we're gonna lift it up slightly. So they don't have any latches in at the shop right now. So I'm just gonna make a temporary one, super quick. Done. Okay, so they've 
Nothing's going to push in there because it's pushing back on itself. Pop that open. We've got a little temporary gate. Well, that was quite hard work, even though it was very easy. Today, just struggling mentally, but it was a pretty easy temporary gate there. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Do the usual. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe globe right here. And uh, check out some of the other videos. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate your time. This is how you make a gate. Now I gotta clean up all this crap.